at an Osborne. Let's go in. Okay, let's go. Ooh, it's a nice, door. it's a nice kind of green sage green door. We have uh, got gloves on. So if you have the, we are in Queensbury Park, Telford, Shropshire, development layout phase two. So we're in the hallway. Um, it's quite a nice hallway because it's quite big it and quite bright. We have been in a few show homes where the hallways haven't been terribly no, been quite big. Thin. So let's just start with the toilet room. Now, obviously, I don't think there'll be any dimensions in here. No. Is there a light switch? Uh, well, there's dimensions. <laughs> so this is 1.76 metres by 1.01 metres, or 5 foot 9 okay. by 3 foot 4. Right. Now, one thing I have got to say about these toilets, they're very kind of commercial with the, the push buttons. Reminds yeah. me a bit of... Shopping like, centres. Like a public toilet, I have to say. So it might be your thing, but that's kind of yeah. not really mine. <laughs> but um, tiny sink, tiny sink, mm. which is okay. I mean, I, I'd like something where you can't see the pipes. Um, upgrade me stickers. I'm thinking that means the full the, the full tiles. tiling is a, an upgrade. Um, one thing I do like is obviously the window in the toilet for ventilation, and I do like the nice sort of white plain doors, yeah. which I think you could paint. It's also kind of stain whatever colour you wanted. I like the inbuilt doormat, um, which in this house works. I have been in somewhere they don't really work because the front room door is right off the doormat. Where in this house it really works. Um, yeah, and a nice kind of staircase going up. Thermostat, temperature yes. control. Right, let's yes. go into the living room. So. Okay. Ooh, it's, it's quite nice actually. Um, yes. It's 10 foot 4 by 16 foot 5. Okay, so just to get a look at the room. Um, yeah, I mean, size, it is a decent though. size. Um, I think it would have benefited from a bay window. But it is quite a nice size. I'm just trying to get it from all different angles. Nice high ceilings. Yeah, so you are 6 foot 4. I am. And you have plenty of, <laughs> plenty of space. You can touch the ceiling. Um... Light. Sensor? Oh, it might be for the lights because I think the hallway light came on when we opened the door. Oh, did it? Oh, is it a smart home? Possibly. Could be one of those sort of got all the technology bigs in. There's us. <laughs> Hello. Um, but no, this is quite a nice size living room. I'm quite impressed. Quite like the TV. This is, by the way, this is a three bed. Yes. A three bedroom semi detached, uh, kind of plain white switches. I mean, I imagine if you get in early, you can choose your own flooring. Uh, please note all soft furnishes like fittings, window treatments and pictures are all for demonstration. Um, There's an alarm system. system. PIR lighting sensors. Yes, let's look at the turning off now. Antico flooring mm -hmm. and tiling to water closet with chrome trim. Carpet sensations range, the lounge stairs and landing and bedrooms. Washing machine to kitchen. Yeah. Uh, I imagine that's a washer dryer. Hammond's wardrobes to bedroom one and two, and bathroom and ensuite additional wall tiling with chrome trim and ceramic floor tiles. Ooh. So it seems to be quite a lot of yeah. a lot that's kind of regular spec. Okay. So we're in the kitchen diner. We are in the kitchen diner. This is 17 foot two by nine foot four, or 5.3 meters by 2.9. Wow, now I'm standing right in the corner by the patio door looking into the kitchen. It's actually a very nice layout. It is, to be fair. Um, I think if you are definitely a young family, or, ooh, a bit of a squeak, uh, or, or just a couple, I think this would be a really lovely kitchen. Yeah. Space for your bin, yeah. which is always, I always look for a space for a bin. Well, Beautiful patio it. doors. I'm included. So, yeah, I'm included with the stickers. Does it, what make is it? It's a new scene. Quite nice and roomy. I know people like to get right in there and have a good old look. Good old we like to have we like to have a good rummage. This is obviously a kind of high glass. Oh, spice rack. Well, it's like mom's cupboard. Yeah, I mean, if you've got an awkward space, it's quite nice to fill it. Oh, there's two. Quite nice to fill it with. Oh, and then there's a weird back cupboard that you can't find. Yeah, I always think it's good to have like proper side access to these. But you've got your pan drawers. I know people like me to have a look and a good rummage in the cupboards. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of space in this kitchen. There is uh, lots of storage. Overhead fan extractor, gas hob, sink, 
Um, and obviously the, the washing machine, I think that's a washer dryer, comes standard. It must be a washer dryer. No, I don't think it does, honestly. Is it not? No, the washing machine uh, in the kitchen is part of the inspiration range. Oh, okay. Okay, what do you think of the decor? I quite like it. Sir. Yeah. No, it is quite nice. There's plenty of kitchen counter space, which is good. Obviously, you've got a bit of the um, staircase staircase return in the ceiling. Um, oh, gardens. Are we, can we get out? No, we cannot. Uh, but it just kind of shows an example. I don't think this sort of garden comes with the house. This will have been designed. I imagine you just get, well, we'll check if you get grass. Yeah. Um, but lots of developers do turf. But this just goes to show what you can do. Obviously, there would be fences across here because obviously this is a semi-detached house. Yeah, so probably be like this wall here and straight up. Yeah, but you, yeah, it's quite sizable, really. Plenty of space if you've got animals to put pet bowls. Yeah, or a bin. Or a bin. And I did see some under stairs storage. Yep. So, perfect. You know me, I like to get in the cupboards. Perfect for shoes. And there is actually a plug socket in there as well. So you could, I suppose, technically put another appliance in there if you yeah. really wanted to. Yeah. Right, shall we go upstairs? Yes, let's. I think that's your um, electricity box. Yeah, fuse box. Okay, going up. I quite like the stairs, simple, plain. Yeah. There's a window on the stairs. Whoops. There's a window giving lots of nice side light. Yes. Shall we start with what I think might be the master bedroom? Yes. Okay, so the master bedroom is 10 foot 5 by 10 foot 2. Okay. Um, I mean, in any of these modern developments, the bedrooms are not huge. No, I don't like those bedrooms. Um, they are an extra, so you don't have to have them. Um, I don't see the point of having the mirror yet. Oh yeah, I imagine you can choose your doors, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, they are, I mean, if you want the built-in storage, they go from the floor to the ceiling, floor to the ceiling. Do, but I think the shaft could be a bit higher, because that does go all the way up. Yeah, I mean, you could probably get, there's room for double rail height yeah. in the wardrobes. Uh, but like I say, you don't have to have it. You could have your own. You could go to Ikea, buy the Pax collection. There is room. I think this might be a slightly shorter bed, yes. but it is probably a double, but there would be room for a bigger bed, I think. Yeah, you can go right way up to the side there. Yeah. Ooh. It's a quite a chunky ensuite. Yeah, got the same kind of toilet set up. Yeah. Obviously a shelf, which is quite handy for storage. You could obviously put a proper cabinet as well. Um, the shower, now, it's one of those kind of bi-foldy yeah. type doors, a little bit stiff. It's a little bit narrow as well, because they haven't a used this stiff. space here. No, but there, so there, there, there could be a cupboard or something there on the other side. Tiling is upgraded to, I think, include yeah. full full tile. Ooh. Also, that's weird. There's not a light above the showers. So it's actually very dark in there. It is actually quite dark because mm -hmm. there's no external window being a semi detached. Um, shower is a regular shower fixture. Um, no rainfall and um, kind of stipply tiles, but I imagine you can choose your own yeah. tiles. Mm. Um, room. Quite a large room. It is. Ooh, the tiles are quite interesting because yeah. you've got the shiny flat there and then you've got like a feature back wall of the pattern over yeah. here. But once again, the shower thing doesn't come with it. Yeah, so you you haven't got a shower screen and a wall-mounted shower. The bath looks fairly big. Yeah. Um, again, you've got the same toilet. What I do like about the bath, actually, if you look at it, it's like a sloped back here for you to rest against. Yeah, that's quite handy. That's quite nice. Yeah, you can imagine a good old soak in there. Yeah. It's um, nice and light and it's airy. Yeah. How big is it? It is. That, this bathroom is two meters by two meters, six foot ten by six foot ten. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a perfectly serviceable bathroom. family bathroom. Yeah. Uh, a nice deep shelf. Oh, yes. A nice deep shelf. And again, you could have another cabinet there. Yeah. And you've got the towel rail as well. It's quite a high towel rail as well. Yeah. So it's just with the door shut. Yeah, it's quite roomy to be fair. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and you could have room for a laundry basket, a yeah. circular one there. 
so the lights have just come on by the sensor. Let's just have a look in the cupboard. So, boiler cupboard. It is yeah, a um, it is a valent boiler, combi boiler, I do believe. Mm. Um, obviously, lots of additional storage, and there is loft access as well. Kids bedroom, or could it be an office. It's actually not a bad size no, room. It's easily get a single bed in. It is 8 foot 4 by 8 foot 12. Okay. Mm. Um, there is space for a wardrobe over there. Yep. Yeah, this is a perfect, perfect sized kids bedroom yep. or an office or study, hobby room. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like this room. Yeah. Um, carpets, do we know if carpets are included? I have no idea about Right, okay, so that's where that little bulkhead was oh, in, yeah. the, in the ensuite. Oh, okay. This is actually bigger. Do you, do you think it's bigger? It is. It is. This one is 10 foot 2 by 11 foot 4. It's a solid foot and a bit wider than the other one. Wow. Okay. So these are better wardrobes. Yeah. I imagine you can choose your doors. Yeah. What's the insides of them like? Just a out of interest? The same as the other one. Yeah, same. Quite roomy, quite deep. Yeah. Nice deep wardrobes. Hmm. Okay. There's also space for a little something something there yeah yeah i mean it's not bad and looking into the street um got a nice little grassy area across the way yeah it's not mm. bad okay so we have just been looking at a lovell home the osborne house type here at telford so what did you think of it i think it's actually it's quite actually nice done inside yeah it's a really yeah. lovely um semi-detached house um, we haven't really looked at semi-detached houses before, and no. this one is actually a really nice example, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I would say this house is it's quite lovely. lovely. Yeah, yeah, lovely.